Now in this video we're going to real quick just go through uh, the schematic and change all the values. So do that, click on value and click on the, the X mark or cross rather, crosshairs and the battery will be 3 volts and I can use the move button to orient this and get it where I want so it looks good. Now you can also change the value on the net names and the reason you'd want to do that is because your voltage bus and your ground bus are uh, pretty important when you're laying out your PCB. In fact a lot of schematic designs will be different trace widths so it's important I think in schematic to make sure you name uh, the nets that are connected to voltages. So this one will be 3 volts and I'll put B for before switch and hit escape because I actually don't want to add that to the schematic. Now I wouldn't go through and name every net, especially on a larger design. I'll name this 3 volt S for after switch because that's just going to take a long time. The Eagle Cat, you'll notice, just spools out the names in dollar sign one and dollar sign two as you add nets. But uh, I explicitly only add a few names to nets when needed. Uh, go ahead and change the value. Oh, this is the name. Cancel. Add value. We're going to make this is the 100 ohm resistor. Here is the 1K resistor, and I'll just clean everything up at the end and make it easier. And if you forget a value, uh, we could just go back to the build materials. That's what it's there for. That's why I said it's useful to have, because you can just use it as a reference. If you forget something, it's what you're purchasing. So these are 50K. and I forgot the capacitor so again go back to the build materials and 10 10 microfarads Now just clean all this up and that's pretty much it for changing values, super easy.